Good morning, uh, it's Andre here from Peak Motorcycles. I'm about to head up to CMC uh, at Clay Cross to try out a new Yamaha Tenere 700. So this is a bike that I tried at the bike show uh, last weekend at Motorcycle Live. Uh, and today was an opportunity to go and ride one for real, uh, not just around the small dirt track uh, they had at the show. So yeah, uh, looking forward to it. Should be an interesting day for a ride out. It is a little bit cold today, but um, trying out this new Rucka Navala suit. So we'll, uh, uh, we'll see how that goes. So I made it here to CMC Motorcycles in Clay Cross. I'm going to have a go on the Tenere 700 demonstrator, which is just here behind me. Uh, this is the Explorer version. So this one comes with uh, the metal panniers and the bash guard and the center stand. It's bitterly cold, absolutely freezing. It was between one and three degrees uh, for the ride over. Um, so yeah, let's see how much of a test ride we can actually have and hopefully I'll avoid any ice. Uh, the suit's holding up well. Um, I could probably do with an extra layer uh, on, on the legs maybe just like a base layer and maybe even an extra layer on top. But I think uh, as long as I wasn't going too quickly, uh, it's absolutely fine with just a t-shirt underneath. Um, I think for uh, if I was gonna do anything on a motorway or a dual carriageway, it definitely needs another, another mid layer uh, to go underneath at all. But yeah, all great, here we go. <laughs> into the Peak District, just at the Grouse, just near Frogger. It's been bitterly cold. Um, I came up the dual carriageway, uh, Chesterfield Bypass, um, horrible visibility, maybe 10 metres at best. Um, yeah, couldn't feel my fingers, this bike definitely needs heated grips if you're gonna ride it through the winter in the UK. Um, and then I come here and I can almost see the blue sky just trying to poke through. Uh, the bike's been absolutely brilliant. Um, far exceeded any expectations. Uh, can pull from almost a standstill in third. Uh, it's very happy on the motorway, and even with just this little stubby screen, um, there's enough wind protection. Um, but I've not really felt that cold, other than my hands. Um, but I think you know, definitely uh, heated grips needed for winter riding in the UK. Um, everything else about it has been really, really impressive. Um, it's got these knobbly tyres on it, which, yeah, probably not my first choice for road riding in the UK. Uh, definitely more um, off-road focused than on. But having said that, they've been absolutely brilliant. I've never once felt like it's, uh, it's, it's going to lose either the front or the back end. I haven't really been pushing on, but a lot of that's because of the ice uh, and the greasy roads and how everything is today. But yeah, really enjoying it. I, I just liking it a lot more than I thought I would. Um, maybe this is the GS replacement. We'll see. Anyway, I've got a few more roads to do to get out and back around to CMC. Um, but yeah, so far so good.
to SMC, uh, the Tenere 700 uh, was great. Um, struggling to find fault with it really. Trying to work out if it could actually replace my GS. Uh, there's a few things about this particular one that I've, that I've ridden that I'd probably change. Definitely use heated grips for the winter. Um, the exhaust's a little quiet, so I know they do an Akrapovic to go with it. Um, and the only other thing really is the panniers that come with the Explorer uh, look a little, little, little bit too small. Um, so if they do bigger panniers, definitely get the sports exhaust, certainly the heated grips. Then, um, yeah, I, I think I'd probably have one. Obviously I need to have a think about it and make sure I can uh, fit one in the garage, but um, maybe swap it for something else. Yeah, it's brilliant. It was really good. Loved it. So I made it back. Uh, another interesting ride. Uh, it's about half a degree uh, as I came over the last bit down into the Hope Valley. Um, it's nice to be back on the GS after the Tenere. The heated grips really do make a difference when it's this cold. Um, but nevertheless, the Tenere was so interesting. I think I might be back uh, for another look. Um, as for the suit, well, the uh, the Rocky Nivala suit has been brilliant. Um, bearing in mind, all I'm wearing underneath it is just you know normal underpants and a long sleeve t-shirt and then the jacket which includes the down liner. I've been almost warm enough and considering it's rarely been above about two and a half or three degrees. Um, yeah, I've been quite impressed. I think to, to go out and actually ride in these sorts of temperatures, you'd ideally have a merino base layer, both um, top and bottoms to wear underneath it and then I think you'd be absolutely fine. Uh, I think my gloves were a bit lacking today. Um, they are Rucker Gore-Tex gloves, uh, but to be honest, with heated grips, they're fine. Without heated grips, uh, they were too cold on the Tenere. But having said that, I think I'll probably be wearing this through the winter uh, as I carry on riding. Um, I think I'll certainly be wearing another base layer underneath it. But for what I've done today, uh, which is about two or three hours um, in fairly low temperatures, uh, you know, ice on the roads or certainly at the sides of the roads, and it's it's been it's been manageable. So yeah, very impressed. Uh, there's a few things with the jacket. Um, the cuffs I really like the fact that it's got the inner and the outer cuffs, so you can actually put your gloves easily between the two of them. That's almost no effort. Uh, the neck cover thing seems to work really well. Um, that was grand. Uh, the the down jacket inside and the down trousers uh, both are really brilliant. Um, yeah, they, they take up a lot less space uh, than the thermal linings I've had before, which also means that the uh, the jacket and the trousers fit pretty well both with and without them um, and it's not a lot of extra weight to carry so yeah now I'm really impressed um, is it worth it I think that's difficult um, it's an eye-watering amount of money for the jacket and trousers um, and thanks to Infinity Motorcycles and the, the Rucker Wrap uh, Ed I think his name was uh, Motorcycle Live who um, helped me out and persuaded me to uh, to get this and yeah so far so good I've been I've been very impressed I expect this will be certainly traveling to the cooler climbs that I go to next year and in future years. Uh, maybe not to all the hot countries, but I have another suit for that. Anyway, uh, hopefully this has been interesting. Um, Rocky Nivala suit, yeah, it's great. Great for these really low temperatures. And the Yamaha Tenere 700 was a really pleasant surprise. Um, yeah, I loved it. I'm not sure it's quite a replacement for the GS, um, but it probably does more than, than what I'd need. Um, so yeah, I'll definitely be back hopefully on a warmer day uh, to try it on some, some warmer, drier roads. Cheers.